Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today, I've got the boys with me, Shan and May May, and we're back here at Tampa Machinery Auctions, taking a look at the bus. So right now, we've been bidding on this thing, and we're trying to be patient and not run up the bid just because, of course, you want to place bids here and there just to get a feel on what the cap is. Um, we definitely have a price in mind and how much we're willing to spend, but today is Friday. So if you know anything about the auctions, they, so the Friday, before auction day which is always a saturday they start things up and so today's the day where you can you know the car you're looking for they'll start it up for you the machines like this that you're looking to buy they'll start it up for you and today we're hoping to see the bus run well, let's find somebody and see if they can't start it the boys are looking at all the boats and the campers the motorcycles there's just all types of stuff storage containers and so let me flip this camera around and explain to you kind of how this works. If you're new to this and Tampa machinery auctions and how they do things. So you can bid basically the first day of the month when their catalog opens and they're always adding things to their catalog. And you can bid all the way until the Saturday auction morning. But the way the bids work is they do it row by row. So they start with machines and they move this way. And then they start with cars. So these are gonna be, this first row over here is gonna be damaged vehicles. You know, vehicles that don't run, you're gonna have to bring a trailer or a tow truck or something. And then it moves to personal vehicles, people that have put their vehicles here for auction. And then it goes by state and then all of the big stuff like trucks and buses. And so when the auction opens on Saturday morning, once they get to this row, it starts closing car by car. So the first thing to close will be that silver car right there. And the second thing to close will be that gray car and then the black car and then blah, 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 all the way down the road, all the way down the row. And so say you have a bus, like we're auctioning for or bidding for, we're at the end of the row. So the auction might open around nine o'clock, but ours will officially close at say, if it's sitting in the 20th position, it's gonna start closing at like 9.20. At least I believe that's how it works. I'm not a pro at this yet. And I guess we'll only know. You'll only be watching this video if we won the bid, <laughs> pretty much. So at least I think. Here are all the old cop cars, boys. Yep. And they put information here on the front. So this is a Hillsborough County Sheriff's um, it, and it, car right here and it runs and moves. So meaning, this car will start and you can drive it. If there's any other issues, that is to be seen. And that's why on a Friday like today, you can see there's people out here looking at stuff. They want to see this thing start. And it looks like I have found the pack of people way down there. Basically you follow this, this golf cart around and they have a whole bunch of keys on it and they start starting all the cars so you can see. What do you think, Oe? Yeah. Hey, Oz. What do you think? <laughs> it's something. What do you guys think, boys? So even as we were looking at this bus right here, there's guys kind of around it, looking at it, wanting it, probably. <laughs> they say they haven't bid on it yet, but who knows? It's all a game. Here's the front of the bus right here. If you watched the other video, I kind of did a walkthrough of this bus already. But still looking good. Looks like no one came in here and trashed it or anything. <laughs> so my dad, he drives buses for a living. So he has a CDL. He's going to be the one, if we win this, to be able to bring this back to my house. And you can see the original color, color was yellow, but they painted it white. I personally like the white bus better. What do you think? It's great. It's in really good shape. Yep. Mm -hmm. What happened, guys? Oh, you can break out. <laughs> Boom. Let's see. If you can break out, you can get out. This is so not secure. <laughs> nice. This is the bus that we're looking at right here, which is the same bus that we showed in the last video. But there's some other school buses here we're going to take a look at. A lot of them look like they're not in as good condition. These look like they were regularly driven school buses this one looks you know like it this one was run just for prison runs or detention runs these other buses look like they were 
used every single day. But still, let's take a look at them. Here's one right here. This one runs and moves. Yeah. Hey, this is not too bad. You. Yeah, still some school stuff there. Yeah. What? There's a hoodie in here. A hoodie? Looks like they brought this straight from the school system. <laughs> what did you guys find? Uh, what? What did you guys find? Oh, um, we found a dump truck. So here's one car right here. This was a sheriff's vehicle. Or maybe from the sheriff's department, sorry. Come on, boys. And this one's got some bullet holes on it. Check this out. Bullet holes. One, two, three, four. Whew. Can you jump? So the bus ran, it, it just needed a jump, you know, for the batteries. If the batteries are new, they're only a year, a little over a year old. Now I don't know too much about buses, diesel engines, any of those things. But what's really cool about this place is all these guys here were very, very friendly. And you run into all types of diesel mechanics and just people who just know their stuff. And surprisingly, I've never done auctions, but these guys were, I was expecting just like a blood fest and just like uh, people being mean. Everyone's real cordial. I made two friends out here. It's just really cool. So it's re really great atmosphere over here at Tampa Machinery. And so, okay, it started. Um, if we do get the high bid, my dad, he's gonna have to drive it home for us. He, like I said, he drives buses. He has a CDL and everything like that. And I'm still working on like the, what's legal and not if I can drive it without a CDL if I take out X amount of seeds and if it's under a certain amount of weight so still trying to work through all those things but um from everyone who was around had oil had transmission fluid it, it ran really well it, it um, kept the air pressure and there was no lights on no sensors um, really nothing nothing wrong like just from the few minutes of looking at it and having people look at it and kind of getting their opinion and you know, there are some mechanics here who uh, aren't trying to buy a bus whatsoever, but just through talking and making friends, um, they're like, hey, I'll kind of take a look at it for you. And they kind of stuck their finger in the oil and do all types of stuff. And they said it was really clean, maintained really well. And I think it was maintained really well and not used as much as a school bus. So we'll see, man, if we get the high bid tomorrow morning, you know, all glory to the Lord. Uh, it's something we want, um, but you know, his will be done, right? So what do you think about this whole endeavor? Oh, I'm so excited. I know we'll find one eventually, but I have a feeling it could be this one, so. Right, and so people really who are watching right now don't even know what we're doing with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so in the next video, like I said, if you're watching this, it's because we got the bus. So in the next video, we'll talk all about that and it's just gonna be a fun time, man. I'm excited to get that creative outlook going and just Doing this with my kids and my wife. This is what I live for. I love it. So thanks for watching this video, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.